was born and raised right here in Lafayette, Louisiana. I graduated high school here, and about probably 15 years after high school, I moved to New Orleans, where I reside now. I live in New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, but I, I'm, I still play Zydeco music. I just felt that moving to New Orleans, for me, it was a, a, a different place for me to bring Zydeco music because New Orleans is all about brass, jazz, funk, uh, stuff like that. And then when I brought some Zydeco to New Orleans and put the name Rock and Doocy Jr. into Zydeco music in New Orleans, people started listening to it. So now a lot of Zydeco bands from here, we play like places like Tipitina's, Rock and Bowl, House of Blues, took that to New Orleans. And Zydeco just, just, just spread, man, you know, and everybody in the music industry is listening to Zydeco music now, and they want a part of it. Well, what makes me want to play this? I grew up in it. It's like playing the blues. My grandpa played Zydeco music, but before it was called Zydeco, it was La La music. My father played Zydeco music, and that's how he fed the family, and that's all I grew up listening to was Zydeco music. My father, Clifton Chenier, uh, Sampi and the Bad Habits, Furnace and the Tundas, Buzu Chavez, you know, those guys. Creole culture influenced Zydeco music a lot from back in the, the late 50s, early 60s, because Zydeco music is practically rhythm and blues. You listen to T-Bone Walker, uh, Muddy Waters, B.B. King, Holland Wolf, all those guys, you could take their music and put the uh, snap bean of Zydeco into the music because a lot of Zydeco songs you hear today and of yesterday when my father, the late Rockin' Doopsie, was doing Zydeco, he was doing some cover stuff like Big Joe Turner, Flip Flop and Fly, Jimmy Reed, you got me running, got me high. You just put the guitar, the car in, washboard in it, stuff like that, you know, and uh, it's, all, it's all the same. Uh, R&B, uh, Black Creole music, that, that's Zydeco, Black Creole music. Well, Cajun music is uh, pretty much more of a uh, two-step, uh, but then like a, like a waltz kind of thing. Cajun music is kind of like a waltz where Zydeco music is more like up-tempo, old R&B, uh, Creole music. Uh, from back in the day of the slavery days, just singing on a plantation, just making stuff happen, snapping and rocking and putting words together. And just a, it's just a feel good thing to me. You know, that, to me, that's what Zydeco music is. And now you have some Zydeco musicians that's recording with hip hop artists, rappers and stuff, because they like the sound of Zydeco. And that takes you right back to the roots of the old R&B stuff because it's all black ethnic music coming from way back when to what's going on today. And we just keeping everything in the same pot, but trying to find a different way to utilize the music and make it happen. The washboard is pretty much the sound of, to me, of a snare and a tom drum, you know, because when I'm playing, I got my snare on the, on the top, I got my tom in the middle, and I got my bass drum on the bottom. And if when you see me playing, sometimes I'm popping it to try to get the, uh, the sound of a hi-hat. So I got trying to get like four different sounds out of what I'm doing on the washboard, and it works for me. I think my best washboard player that inspired me was a good friend of mine who's gone and will never be forgotten. The, the late, great Cleveland Chenier. And I remember Cleveland telling me, you could play like me, but the thing you have to do is you have to create your own style. So that's what I did. I created my own style with a little bit of him in it, and now I'm doing the thing my way, you know, and uh, it's working, working real well for me.